guys, how are you all today? Welcome back to my channel. So I know I've been gone for long and I do apologize but I have an internship that I've started a few days ago. I'm interning at Ogilvy & Matter which is an advertising agency and I am also giving my exams so I'm in the middle of a lot right now but I did get some free time out today and I wanted to like film a bunch of videos so I really thought it's been a long long time and I really wanted to have a chit chat with you guys and what better video to film if you want to have a chit chat than a Nika haul because you loves shopping from Nika you know that and every other like month there's a video on Amazon or Nika haul because like like I don't even go to the mall anymore I just get stuff from Amazon or Nika if I know my shade now I know this video is going to be a little too long so so without further ado, I think we should get started because we have a bunch of stuff to talk about. So the first thing is I did get a load of lipsticks. I got two free, two I paid for and I keep dropping those lipsticks down for no reason. So the first lipstick I'm going to talk about is the MAC Mini in the shade Velvet Teddy. I have been loving this lipstick. I know a lot of people just love this shade and they can't get enough. And I wanted the mini version to try it out for myself because paying uh, around 1500 to 2000 for a lipstick, like a full size lipstick did not make sense to me. Especially when I wasn't sure if the color is going to look good on my skin or not. So yeah, I really wanted like a trial version of the same thing. And one of the best things that I feel MAC has done with Nika is to come up with minis. I feel like it's such a good thing to like have have and to know that you know you can try this out and then if you like it you can go ahead and buy like a full size product. I for one was conflicted between Meher and Velvet Teddy, both of the shades that I really really like. But now I bought Velvet Teddy, I didn't want to play around with Meher as well but I just thought this is more of a nude shade so I ended up getting this. I am going to swatch these and show you guys as well. Next up I got this one from Smashbox. This came in free because I ended up spending a lot of money on Smashbox's driver's seat uh, which I will talk about in a while. It's called be legendary it's this like pinkish shade i would say pinkish slash uh, a little on the red side it's not really a very nude shade like you do want to have like that confidence to carry it out because for me i know i can't carry out like gold shade like reds and you know like dark pinks uh, but this one not dark i would say it's like in the like a middle pink i don't know what that shade is called but i will try to make you understand by giving like a swatch of it this color is a little bold so you do want to have that courage to carry it out but if you can pull that off I think it's a perfect matte shade. Next we have the driver's seat lipstick from Smashbox. A lot, a lot of makeup artists have told me to try this for myself because so they put it on when they're doing my makeup like for shoots and everything but then I don't have it like for myself once I'm home I can't try it out and I don't know if it'll look good with the makeup that I do on myself. So like I just went ahead and got this for myself because I really wanted to try it out and I wanted to see what the fuss is all about. Like on my lips I Everything just ends up looking super dark so I wouldn't say it's like a very light matte nude shade. It's not because and I feel like that's one good thing because it's like I'm getting out of my comfort zone because of that. My heart. But at the same time, the formulation I would want to say is great. It's honestly, it stays and it doesn't like go away. Uh, it doesn't like dry out your lips either. So I really like the whole product and everything. So Nika has all of these really cool deals going on. If you buy something worth a certain amount, you might just end up getting a load of free products as well. And that's one reason why I've stopped going out to Sephora or to the market to get products. They give a ton of samples for you to try and if you like them, you can obviously buy them later. So that's that. And then the next one I got was from Maybelline. This one is in the shade Red My Lips. It's store to Red My Lips and it's a bright red shade. Honestly, there is so much that has been spoken about red lipstick and Again, I was too scared to try it because I was like, I will end up looking like a total mess if I go out wearing red lipstick. But uh, I did wear it once or twice. I obviously like use a tissue paper to get rid of a lot of the pigment. But uh, yeah, I do feel like it's a perfect red shade. It's super affordable as well. I got this free because I ended up buying a load of like Maybelline makeup. For the most part, I think if you're on Nika and if you're buying Maybelline stuff, you'll get this free. So it's honestly, there's nothing to lose over here. I will actually leave all the prices down below so if you want to know how much uh, each of these details for in the market you can know that as well. Next I got this duo stick from Maybelline it's called the V face duo stick. So basically it's got these two sides and both of these open up. On one side you've got um, like a concealer come highlighter and on the other side you've got a bronzer and it's in this thick form so it's really easy to apply really easy to travel with. Uh, one thing I don't understand is the concealer side, I, I'm not really sure if it's like because I do see a little bit of shimmer going on so I'm not sure if it's a highlighter or if it's a concealer because 
like a shimmer concealer is just not something I want to apply under my eyes. <laughs> but at the same time, the bronzer side I feel is so good. It's very easy to like blend. It's really easy to blend with a beauty blender or like a brush if you're using that. Uh, so if you're traveling and if you just want like a mini thing to just put into your bag and you know you can like use it, it's a multi-purpose thing. Then definitely do give it a try. Otherwise, the only thing I'm not sure about is the concealer side. So if somebody can give me clarity on that, please leave your comments down below. Next, of course, I got my favorite mascaras. This is the Lash Sensational, and then this one's the Hyper Curl. Uh, Lash Sensational, I've applied right now. You guys. No, I love Lash Sensational. Like, if I just had to buy one product for life, it would be Lash Sensational. I got Hypercurl because I wanted a waterproof mascara. I know they have it in Lash Sensational as well, but I just wanted to see what this is all about and what the difference is. Trust me when I say this, there is so much difference between the two that you wouldn't even understand uh, if if you've applied mascara when you apply this and when you apply this, it's like you applied falsies. It's that like the difference is so huge. And maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm being like overly critical of this one, but at the same time, I feel like for me, like I don't like wearing lashes, like falsies. So if I'm applying mascara, I wanted to equate what I would look like when I wear falsies, kind of, if that makes sense. So. Uh, lash sensation does that for me, so I had to get another one. I think I've used up like three bottles of it already, and this one's my fourth uh, mascara. And then this one, I just wanted to try. Like around Holi, I knew that I would be playing with water, so I used this. But other than that, I think lash sensation just makes the cut for me. And like for my entire group of friends, we can trust lash sensation with all our hearts. Next, I had to get another bottle of the Clinique Moisture Surge. If you guys know me, you know I love 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 Moisture Surge. This is the only moisturizer that I've honestly stuck to. Like when I was a kid, I remember my mom used to force me to apply the moisturizer, but I just wouldn't because I was like, I hated moisturizer. You know, I felt like it was so thick on my skin, and when the sun would hit, it would just like I would sweat a lot, especially from my upper lip region. I would just feel like uh, the world is like falling apart. I feel like everybody needs to know this product because it's honestly super magical. It's like this thin layer of water that you apply to your skin, which literally stays there. This one's a 72-hour auto replenish hydrator, so it stays for seven. Like it will keep your skin hydrated for about 72 hours. I got the smallest pack because I do want to go to Sephora. I have a lot of like Sephora points collected up, and I want to like get all of that done once and for all. So I want to go to Clinique specifically and get a lot of products. I just wanted one for like the time being because I don't have moisture surge and like I tried a bunch of other like similar hydrating moisturizers. I tried Lacme, I tried uh, Lotus Organics, I tried all of those and nothing came closer to this. Now I know cleaning products are a little expensive, but they're honestly like an investment. You're doing something like really, really good for your skin. So I don't really see any harm in getting at least the trial size products and seeing it for yourself because there's one product that's completely changed my skincare uh, routine, as you guys call it. It's this. I just, I just hope I get like a lifetime supply of it. All right, next thing I want to talk about is something I personally haven't used a lot. I do have to be honest with you guys. I really, really wanted to like experiment with it and you know play around with it, but it was super, super hurtful. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's the Wheat Full Body Waxing Kit. And it's got wax strips. It's also got the uh, paper with which it's like a scented paper with which you can like wipe yourself off after you've done that. Like it'll just smoothen out your skin and it'll help you feel at ease once you've done your waxing. Now the thing with me is I like a very uh, strong and brave person, like a very courageous person, stepped out saying, you know what, I'm going to get this thing and I'm going to do all my waxing stuff at home because I'm done going to the parlor all the time. And this was like super affordable. I think it was for like 200 rupees. 190 rupees so i really thought i'm going to be able to do this myself now i tried this once and as luck would have it i ended up screaming so bad the thing is when someone's doing your entire waxing thing uh, it does pain a lot less because you're not in control of you know getting the wax strip out but when you're doing it yourself you consciously know that it's going to pain now so that way it just pains a lot more or at least that's the thing with me and i can't I think this is just going to go to mom as a gift from my side. Hopefully, she's really going to like it because she hates going to the parlor for all these small things as well. Now, Smashbox was kind enough to send the photo finish primer water. Now, this one's essentially a primer, but in the form of like a liquid, like a water-based primer. And I've been loving this, guys. I've, every time I've done my makeup, ever since I got this, I've only used this product as a primer. I haven't like I used to love so many other primers before I started using this, and now. 
If for some reason I just haven't touched those, like every time I have to do my makeup, I open the drawer. Out of the stash of makeup, I just pick this one up and just spray it on my face. This one's about to finish, so I do need to get a full size bottle before I run out of it because I know for a fact I'm not going to go back to any other primer. Now, finally, I'm going to talk about eyeshadows. I got two individual eyeshadows and I got one palette. Uh, I got this one from Miss Claire. It's a blue shade in the number. Zero four five seven, and then I got this yellow shade from Kiko Milano. Uh, this one's called Smart. So both of these I got because I wanted to try out super different eye looks. I haven't used these together. This one I did for a sunset eye thingy, and then this one I used with like purple and dark blue and everything. Basically, I wanted to play around with bright colors. If you haven't already guessed that, and uh, I didn't have a blue when I saw this on Nykaa. I thought it's gonna be like a mix of teal and blue. But when this came, it was super super blue. What I, or for that matter, anybody expects from a good, uh, you know, company and from a good. Product something that you're paying so much for is that it, the least it should do is have that sort of pigment, but it really, like you, it's it's not pigmented enough. I just didn't feel like I'm going to go a long way with this. Uh, the second one was the Kiko Milano yellow eyeshadow. It's called Smart, and this one I got because I wanted to try out the sunset eye look and all of that. And it's this one's pigmented. I do have to say Kiko Milano has like a great, great, uh, you know, formula when it comes to their eyeshadows. Uh, of course, I thought it's going to be a matte shade because that's how it looked online. But it turned out to be like it's, it's got a bit of shimmer. It's not like super super shimmery. Uh, so that's that. However, one thing that I do recommend is if you want to play around with bright colors, just invest in a good eyeshadow palette that's got all of these colors. The thing is, if you end up buying these individual pots, you might end up spending a lot more. So the wisest thing to do here is to just invest in a good eyeshadow palette depending on you know what colors you want. I for one wanted to play around with all these bright shades, so I got the NYX. Ultimate shadow palette in the shade bright. Like any bright colors look that you want to create, you can create out of this palette. So that is one thing that I really like. It does retail for about seventeen twenty five, but again, you can check the prices on Nykaa. They keep having all these really cool offers and discounts and stuff. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely check the description box as well. So if you guys want to recreate all those bright looks, then this is one palette that will solve your uh, you know problem. Uh, apart from that, I feel like the pigmentation is really, really great. You apply it once, and you've got like a load of color, so that way you wouldn't have any problem as well. So those were all the products that I got from Nykaa. I really wish I could do like a huge, like you know, I could click a thumbnail with like a lot of products just holding them like I with the huge box. But unfortunately, I don't know how like beauty gurus and all get those huge boxes because for me, all these products just came in in those tiny boxes, uh, the Nykaa luxury, the black boxes that they send, and nothing came in like a big box. Now I was so disheartened because I felt like I'm going to do that whole thumbnail as well with the huge box. But for now, this is what we have and this is what we're going to go for. I really hope you guys enjoyed this super. Long Nykaa haul. I know this is not uh, the length of the videos that I generally have, but bear with me. I just hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys next time. Till then, bye bye.